Okay, well, welcome to our presentation here today. We are going to be talking about um, presentation on eBay. Uh, one of the things that will help you be uh, successful and uh, present yourself uh, as a more professional um, entity is to look more professional. So when we start listing uh, on eBay uh, in mass when we really want to get uh, going and, and be a business, we need to have a professional presentation. We need to look like a, a professional organization. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the options of what we can do here and uh, uh, what, uh, what I would suggest. So here we're looking at some of my listings. There are two areas that I'm going to address today in making a professional listing. One is in the image. Make sure that you are doing the absolute best image that you possibly can. Now we have other webinars that talk about images. If you are taking uh, your own pictures, um, then take a picture on a solid background, either a white background or a black background generally. Uh, these, uh, this example here is a lighter colored item that looked real well. Um, uh, bright orange or yellows contrast real well with black. And so this particular item looks real, real good on a black surface. So I put this on a, a black um, glossy top table and uh, took the picture of this particular item. Uh, most items will look great on a white background and you can use just a piece of white paper, poster board, or something like that. And uh, that's the case with most of my items where they are just a white background. Uh, a white background allows you to completely eliminate the background pretty much where this piece looks like it's just floating in air there. And uh, that makes a very nice picture. When you are creating listings on eBay, see if I can get to my drafts here and show you. We have a tool within eBay where you can um, edit the, the tools. I'm not going to go into detail on that, but you can edit those images within eBay. I actually have uh, another webinar that, that talks about images. We're not, uh, that's not the purpose of this webinar, so I'm not going to get into detail there. What I'd really like to focus on next, next is the template. So within your listing, the details section right here. In fact, let's uh, let me show you a couple of versions of this. So we will go back to the drafts and open that up. So in my draft here, creating the listing on the creating listing page, create listing page, you have the title section, which should be copied and put down in the description section or details. So we have our product details up here. Um, that includes uh, the title um, all the way down through the images and item description. And this is what I'm talking about. This item description section right here, what we want to do is uh, you'll want to use the standard tab, but over on the far right side there, you'll see this advanced editing. You want to click that so you get all of these tools and that will help you to uh, make a good template. Okay. Now, something else that uh, I have done is I saved this in my Google Docs. And so I have it saved as a, as a doc there in Google. I would not suggest saving it in Microsoft Word, uh, but if you have a uh, a simpler text uh, document, then it will work. The problem with Word is the, the coding that they use when you copy it and paste it into uh, the eBay page, it oftentimes brings code over from Microsoft that doesn't play well with many browsers. And so while it might look okay to you, it may not um, present well to other people viewing it on their phones or tablets or other browsers. And so to avoid that, uh, I would not use Microsoft uh, Word. Uh, instead, a good option is the uh, Google Docs, as I say, if you just have a Gmail account. So I'll show you that. This is my template that I have saved in Google Docs. And uh, so this is what the, the Google Docs page looks like. Uh, you'll have the name of the document up here that you can change and edit all you want. Uh, to make that however you want it to read, and then you can format this. So I can go in here and put this uh, title in bold, centered, 
and 14 point font size so it's a larger font I can bold my headings where I want them I can bold and color my satisfaction guarantee that I want here I can bold small sections of text if I want most of this uh, uh, should be bolding titles and um, headings only okay this is uh, considered a heading uh, if you want to bold a little bit of the text, you could do that. Uh, again, this is something I want to stand out. You should only bold what you want to stand out. If we bold too much, then nothing's standing out. And so use bolding sparingly. Use colors sparingly. But we want a professional-looking uh, uh, description here. And so if I go into one of my descriptions, we pull up this item here, and we come down. So this is the description area. This here. This is the item specifics and then the, our description. So if we look at our listing, the item specifics area right here, all of this information here, anything that you check or add right in this section here, and you can add your own item specific, that is uh, something that helps searches, and that shows up right here. Okay. Um, but below that is then your product description section. And I don't get too crazy with uh, with my template. It's it's fairly clean, fairly simple. I've got a title section here. Um, this one actually has uh, uh, two rows of the title. And then I've got a product description section, which is uh, uh, all of this. I have a little note that this is from a surplus lot because that's mostly what I deal with. And so I have that in pretty much all of my listings. Then we've got the product description section that we can put in. We've got uh, a little bit of regular text there below that, item condition section if you want. I do that myself because, again, I'm dealing with a lot of surplus uh, listings. Um, you can put your satisfaction guaranteed uh, thing in there if you want. And then we have a place for our shipping terms, our payment terms, our feedback, our returns. Contact us if we want to. Uh, any uh, details we want to put in here. Okay, and so you can look at the at what other sellers do and see what what they have. Some of them have a, a very professional, very you know high end, uh, um, complicated uh, template. Uh, mine is a little simpler. Uh, but uh, look at what you see out there. Don't get too crazy with it, but you want something to use so that each listing is uniform. Each listing that you put up looks the the same. Uh, as the others, uh, everything uh, is um, uh, uniform, clean, and professional. Okay, and again, we want a section for our basic description, and then we want a section for our shipping terms, um, payment terms, feedback, and returns. Um, shipping uh, should just say that uh, you know how we deal with shipping. Uh, this one, for example, most of our items are free shipping within the, uni the continental. United States, USA. Um, we will ship items uh, with whatever uh, service is cheapest. So I'm letting them know, hey, I'm not guaranteeing a shipper. I, I, you know, I'm going to use whatever is cheapest for us, especially if I'm giving free shipping. Right? The service may not always be the one listed. Please keep this in mind. Uh, if you want to, if you want to, uh, oh, and then my next sentence is if you want to assure, and I, I know that goes off the screen there, but if you want to assure that your item is shipped by a certain carrier. Let us know, uh, and if there um, is additional cost for it, you will need to pay that extra cost. So there's my shipping terms. Okay, free shipping is for the continental USA only. All items are shipped within one to two days after payment is received. Fast payment means fast shipping. So I'm encouraging them to pay right away and not delay their payment. Payment terms: We accept PayPal for all payments. Payment is due within 24 hours of auction end. So again, I'm telling them, hey, you, you're, you know, if they are agreeing to to buy from us, they're agreeing to these terms. So that's part of why we have these terms in here. It's a contract. Um, we accept PayPal for all payments. Payment is due within 24 hours. Buy it now. Payments are due immediately after auction end. Items not paid after this time will be relisted, and a non-paying bidder report will be filed. Um, we are happy to provide good service, but we are running a business and hope you will treat us professional as well. So this is something that I've changed over the years and finally came to this uh, rendition. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm trying to say, hey, don't be a jerk. Uh, if you agree to buy, then pay for it uh, so that I can you know, have that contractually in there because sometimes people are flaky and they don't pay for things uh, um, when they commit to buy. And that's a headache for us as, uh, as sellers. 
Um, feedback. Uh, if you do not, ha or if you do have any concerns about any product purchased from us, please contact us before leaving feedback. We will do all we can to make sure you receive five-star service, and hope you will feel that is what you receive when working with us. So I'm encouraging them to leave five-star five feedback. eBay has a policy somewhere where you cannot demand it, or I think that you can't even ask for it in the list in your description section here. So, you know, I kind of allude to it. Returns. We strive to make uh, sure our items are as ex uh, are explained in good detail with clear information and pictures. If we send you the wrong item, we will refund it uh, when the item is returned uh, if it's our mistake. We often sell surplus untested items. And so I go through and explain this. You know, so basically I'm saying, hey, if we send you the wrong item, we'll refund you. We'll, 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 you know, you return it, we'll refund it, or send you the right item, or whatever. We'll fix our problem or our issue, right? And I've got more description down here that talks about that. Um, and then the contact us is just saying, hey, I'm available Monday through Friday. Um, we don't work Saturdays and Sundays. So that gives me a little bit of time, you know, if they look at our contact, uh, which often they don't, they should see, hey, don't expect to reply from me on Saturday or Sunday. Um, and then I do try to respond very quickly. Uh, so I do have this available uh, and can send it to, uh, to you if you request. So you have a copy and then you can make it your own. Modify it however you want, change the wording, make it your own. Um, you know, maybe make this a little larger or, or something like that. Maybe you make your, uh, um, your headings uh, all blue or, or green or, or red or whatever you want to do. Make it your own. But again, don't get crazy. Don't do this one green and this one blue and, and, and this one red and, and the other one yellow. Don't do that. Don't get all crazy with colors. Make it professional, uniform throughout. Okay, But having something like this with a small section where you copy and paste your description is a good idea to just make your listings stand out and make them a little more professional along with taking good photos and, and making good pictures. Now, of course, if you are creating your picture, uh, you know, if you're downloading the picture from um, a, uh, another store or, or outlet on, online, then you've already got a fairly decent picture usually, but you might still want to uh, edit it a little bit in the uh, picture editor here. And that again is, uh, is taught in another webinar that goes through images. So that's what I want you to do. Let's uh, let's just make sure that uh, uh, your listings uh, look a, a bit more professional than just a, um, you know one or two paragraphs of content. Make them paragraphs. Make headers. Break it up so it's not just one big block of text, um, so that it's easier to read um, for people. So uh, look at what some others do. Come up with your own uh, design on this. Uh, I would recommend that you save it in a Google Doc like this, format it the way you want it, copy and paste it over into each listing that you create, and then uh, um, and then under or over that word title, if you have just the word title here, you would just uh, copy that um, title that you created up at the top right up here. And then if you come down and double click on the word title and paste over the top of that, then it's going to replace that text, that word, but it'll keep the formatting there. So I hope that's helpful for you to help with the next uh, level. Then the, the next big thing is list, list, list. If you want to be uh, a real business and you want to see income like a real business, then you have to act like a real business. It's going to take work. It's going to take tenacity. It is going to take you doing some serious, uh, uh, you know, putting forth some serious effort to see these results. We need to get to where we have thousands of listings on eBay if you expect to make thousands of dollars each month. Um, I know that's not going to happen immediately. Well, let's start with a, a goal of maybe you go from 5 to, to 30 or 5 to, to 40 or 50 or to 100 and, and just keep incrementally in, uh, increasing the number of listings that you have out there so that you can build up uh, uh, your listings and make each of them look uh, real professional. If you have this saved uh, in a Google Doc, a, a Control A will highlight all of it or Command A on a Mac. Um, and then control C or right click in the highlighted area and copy to copy it. So literally that can be done that fast. I've copied it. Okay. And then we can come over here and uh, if this is all empty, we just control V and again in, in two seconds using uh, tabs, uh, I've got my template copied and pasted. 
So this is not something that should take a long time. It will take a little bit of time to develop, but once you've got it down, it's just a few seconds to get it into each listing, and you can continue on with a very professional looking listing and uh, um, create the rest of it usually within uh, just a few minutes, especially as you get more proficient at using the, the computer and these tools. So let's get out there and start listing a lot of items. Build up your business. Let me know if you have any questions.